With just three weeks left until Thanksgiving and prices rising on just about everything, gobbling up budgets, some families are considering non-traditional holiday options. Eating out may be a possibility next year. But even for traditionalists who like a good home-cooked meal. That's the one thing I enjoy to cook and feed my family. It's just a matter of having a good time. There's compelling reasons to take everyone's favorite food fest on the road, namely the soaring cost of food, especially at grocery stores. There's no question that this year, Thanksgiving is more expensive than ever before. Typically, you're going to save, if you go out this year, somewhere between 10 and 15 percent. From the sides to the main event. This is the turkey. <laughs> oh. How big is that? It's about 19 pounds. Inflation is heavily impacting nearly every corner of your Thanksgiving table. Customers getting particularly lambasted when it comes to the turkey, a 20 pound bird up almost 30% for about six bucks from a year ago. With a recent bout of avian flu nudging prices up even more, the cost of potatoes rising 18%, canned fruit and vegetables also up 19%. Restaurants like Red Rooster in Miami with their Cajun spice smoked turkey and ultimate southern greens hoping to capitalize. We've already got um, reservations just flying in the door and our, our phones are ringing off the hook. They're also benefiting from the fact that food has risen a more modest 5.8% at restaurants versus nearly 10% at grocery stores. This business also figuring out a cheat code of sorts to save customers even more money. We have a local farm that actually services the community and that's been able to really, really help us with our prices. As for accommodating demand, at a time staffing is challenged across the industry, Red Rooster is staggering worker shifts to make sure they're covered. Others are banking on higher holiday revenues to boost hiring. From elevated dining to traditional spreads to all-you-can-eat buffets, there are many ways to maximize value. Experts suggest looking for restaurants that give you unlimited portions to get the most bang for your buck. Make sure to also check out sites like Groupon for any offers with added savings. And if you're worried about missing out on leftovers, keep in mind that you'll likely be able to score big at the grocery store the next day when most Thanksgiving items will go on sale. So go out for Thanksgiving, have a ball, and then go shopping the day after. So, so Sam, I mean, what about, what about takeout? Is that an option where folks can also save oh, yeah. instead of going out to a restaurant? It's a great question. It's a great option. Many restaurants, Craig, do have takeout. In many cases, it is the most cost-effective option. However, because there is always a however, a lot of these restaurants do have delivery or pickup fees for holiday orders. There's also those suggested tips, which could actually make it more expensive. So make sure yeah. you do some number yeah. crunching there. The experts that we talked to said your best bet is to find an all-you-can-eat restaurant uh, and take your family there. But let's face it, this is Thanksgiving. The whole point is all you can eat. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, exactly. we're just going to all maximize yeah. that and then worry about it the next day. Celebrate the gluttony. Sam Brock, mm -hmm. enjoy dinner for breakfast, buddy. Yeah. You've been going out for years. Yes. You know, uh, we've been very – after the Thanksgiving Day Parade, we go out to dinner, and it's like a game changer. Sounds you know, amazing. You no know, dishes to clean up, nothing like that. And you that. love to cook, but you still I love do, this. but you know what? Every yeah. now and then, it's like nice. give up control. Yes. Right? Just Good. bring your big pants. Yeah. Surrender. Surrender.